Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I have decided to raise awareness about the development of socket application on network drive. What does it exactly mean? It's very common in many companies to find among the computer connected to the network the appearance of network drives on local uh, drives. And usually uh, the network drive is used by the company system administration to perform the backup of all the data around the company through around the company uh, every day and what does it has to do with uh, this tutorial today in fact i want to raise this awareness because last time i spent a lot of time solving one of the problem and it happened that I had to develop a socket application on Visual Studio using, of course, C Sharp. Now I created uh, I created uh, the project on the local drive, then run the project and everything work properly. And just to note that I was using N modules. That is used to perform uh, some socket application to communicate with hardware and so on, but that's not the problem. Now, uh, as I was saying, I def I created the project and tested it, and it was working uh, properly on the local drive. Then I suddenly changed it and moved everything to the local network in order to preserve my codes. To ensure that okay i will have the backup and everything in case that things crash and so on then when i run the same project again then i start having uh, this uh, error or exception and nothing was working and anytime that <laughs> i don't know if i was stupid or not but anytime that i i move the things to the local drive I noticed that it works, but on the local uh, on on the network drive it didn't work, and I didn't get that one uh, very early. So it's after some time, after spending some some time, a lot of time uh, troubleshooting that I finally discovered that the stupid thing was that uh, sorry for the time, but the problem was that. Uh, Whenever we deal with uh, socket applications on local drive, the issue become complicated. Right now, I'm trying to dig more precisely what how can we solve it. But temporarily now, I just it will be. I just want to warn you and raise your awareness about the existence of this problem. So, thank you for listening and watching. I hope that. These tips will be helpful for you for the next coming projects. Thank you for watching again and see you next time. Bye.